Hey, how you doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a bag that I have been wanting to do a review on for so long. I have the other two sizes on my channel, and I finally have this one in person so I can do a review video on it. It is the Cabas Alto Tote. This is the big mama, okay? Okay, so let me give you the measurements. So, you know how I like to do like, you know, a series, or not a series, but like a set of measurements because there's so many different areas that matter. Okay, so on the bottom, and I'm just talking about, sorry, let me, I'm just basically talking about from right where it curves, right there to right here. That is 16 inches, okay? If you lay it flat, the widest point, you can see your hips, which is basically at the top of this. If you lay it flat, that's, that's the widest point. That is, what did I write down? That is 21 inches. And then the top is 20 inches. So it's, it's, there's not a whole lot of difference because you know how like, you know, with the Neverfull, you've got it where it tapers down. Um, and so the bottom is obviously gonna be smaller than the top. And there's, there's some other bags like that too. But this one's pretty consistent um, if from the widest point. I mean, obviously it's smaller at the bottom. But 16 inches across is pretty is pretty roomy. So that I mean, even though it's you know it's the 20 up here, you still have a ton of room in this bag. Now you may have seen that picture I posted on my Instagram, and I think it's in my groups too, where I went to the Louis Vuitton store last weekend and I tried on the All In uh, MM tote in that with the red handles. And so that MM is the same size like this bag is that size. Even though I measured it and was actually 21 inches across the all-in tote, this one is not 21 inches at the bottom. But overall, just kind of generally speaking, this bag is very, very similar to the all-in tote uh, in the MM size. So I can only imagine what the GM size is in that bag. Um, anyway, okay, so then it is also 14 inches tall and then 6 inches deep. And I only measured... The piece of leather, you know, just the, this the piece of leather, the piece of leather, the piece of leather. That's what I measured. Um, obviously, you know, it's gonna, there's a lot more room on either side. So six inches deep is not really a true, a true depth because really, I mean, look at it. It's this is a huge. Like I said before in my other videos, it's a beachy tote. I had seen this bag in person, and I've actually held it on my shoulder and everything, but I just never had it to do a review video. So, you know, you can see that, again, that piece, just right there, that stitch, that is six inches. But, you know, again, it's obviously a lot more, okay? It's not structured where you're only confined to six inches all the way up. You can, you can stuff it as much as you want. And then the uh, handle drop, or the strap drop here, is 11. So she does pass the elbow test, no problem. She's not getting caught up on your elbow. So, obviously, you can um, access it from your shoulder. I mean, with plenty of room. You could fit, I mean, I could fit my kids in here, okay? I mean, you could definitely fit, like, a ton of stuff in this bag. Um, I do want to mention that this bag, as compared to the Cavas Mezzo and the Cavas Piano, um, those two bags, those two sizes, they have a zip closure at the top. The Alto does not. It has no closure at all. There's no snap. There's no latch there's no zipper there's no anything it just has you know the leather or the leather the canvas folds over as you can see and then that's it it's just open she's just wide open she's got a big old mouth and okay so you go on the inside and you've got on the one wall over here you've got their traditional cell phone pocket which i've told you before that's great for kleenexes lip gloss lip balm hand sanitizer pens you know whatever even a pair of glasses depending on well probably readers i mean Everyone wears these big chunky glasses these days. Those probably aren't going to fit, but like a pair of readers or something, that, that may fit in there. And then on the other side, you have a zip pocket, and I haven't actually unzipped it to see um, how generous it is. So let's take a look-see. Uh, you know, it's okay. I'm actually kind of surprised it's not bigger, um, given the size of the bag. Because in the in the Cabas Mezzo, it seems like a really huge, you know, pocket. But in this bag, in fact, let me see if it fits my, okay. So I have my Zippy Organizer, um, sorry, my Zippy Organizer wallet, and I'll, sh I'll put all my stuff in here in a minute, but just real quick, I just wanted to see if this would fit. Um, no, well, okay, not without, okay, no, it's not. I'm not even going to force it. So again, the, Z the Organizer is just a teeny bit bigger than their traditional Zippy wallet. 
and I do have a comparison video on my channel. So I want to say that it's a half inch wider and taller, I think. It may be, it's either a half inch or an inch, both directions, it's bigger. So it's not going to fit side to side like this. I mean, obviously it'll do that, but you don't really want your wallet this close to the top, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not really, you know, that big on having, you know, a zip closure or any kind of security closure, but I definitely would not have my wallet like sticking right here. Um, but you know, it's so big, you could just throw it in the bottom and, and it's fine. So anyway, um, you know, one of the things that I really like about the Cabo series is the straps because they're, you know, they're thicker. Uh, well, they're thicker, number one, than like the Neverfull. And they're also wider, see? And so to me, they're just more comfortable on your shoulder. Um, I just, I don't know, y'all have seen, I've got like, I don't know, three or four videos in the Neverfull and I have a love-hate with that bag. I want to love it so much, but I don't. And every time I go, yeah, let's get it, I get it. And then after like a couple weeks, I'm like, oh, this bag's annoying. So um, anyway, but this is like, this is going to be too big for me to carry every day. Uh, like as a, like as a, you know, a handbag. Um, I carry a bag, so I have my, my daily bag, but then I also carry this, which is not Louis Vuitton, obviously. It's just a, uh, it's either Land's End or LLB. It's one of the two. And so it's the largest one. Actually, no, it's the second to the largest one that they have. Um, you can see it's a be like a beachy tote. Same kind of thing. Like it's really very similar. I mean, it's a little bit, well, it's actually a lot deeper. But it has like all my, you know, because usually when I'm out during the day taking my kids to dance and stuff, I'm out. Like once I'm out, I'm out. And so I need like all my stuff. If, if I'm working on something or, you know, like I have my scarf in here. I have my, like my Yeti. I have a charger, like a car charger. I have a little thing of nuts, you know, um, my calendar, a thing of pins, and I even have like a little pouch that has, oh crap, not that it matters, but I'm just showing you like, this is not my daily bag. This is just like my stuff bag, this little thing. So I have this little pouch and it has like all of my uh, battery packs and chargers because, you know, I just learned last summer that having those things um, on hand is very is very important and then I have like a ball of ibuprofen so anyway this the Cobbas Alto is a great would be a great replacement for this bag um just because like I said it's going to be too big for like a, a handbag but definitely like all my stuff you know all my stuff can fit in it and then also I did bring I got this uh laptop and I just measured it and I done forgot how, t how wide it is let's see so she is, this laptop is, uh, okay, so it's 15 inches. And um, she's a dinosaur, I know, don't judge. Oh my gosh, get up here. And it will fit, if she can, if this bag can fit this big old mama, it can fit whatever you got going on, I'm sure. So yeah, you can see that there's no trouble, oops, there's no trouble fitting a laptop in here. And then some, so you know, you got this, I mean, I don't know, what else? I can just put, because again, that's not going to be like a daily bag for me. That's just going to be like my stuff bag. So let's say that I have, you know, my scarf. Wait, I can't do that over here because you can't see me. It's annoying. Um, my ball of water and, you know, I told you my little pouch with all my um, chargers and whatnot. And then, so my nuts, because I'm nutty. Uh, this little thing of pens and pencils. And what else? And I have like a clipboard or just some stuff. Anyway, but you just get the idea. So that, you know, this is actually a great bag. Um, if you don't want to have like two separate bags, because again, I just said I had carry around two separate bags. That one mainly stays in the car um, and it'll go into the dance studio when I'm in there. But usually it's just like, I'm not toting it around to all the stores or whatever I'm doing. Um, but if you don't want to carry two bags, then this would be a great option because that way you could just get you something like a Truce 23 or even a Truce 28, um, or even a accessory pochette, or something like that. And so you can put your, like your, if you were using it as a mom bag, then you could put like, you know, the baby things that you need in the Truce bag, and then you could stick that in here, and then also have your wallet. And so this is definitely a great, you know, like a travel tote, or just a catch-all tote, work tote. Um, I mean, some people might even say gym tote, but there ain't no way mom will be taking this to the gym. No way. Well, actually, I don't even go to the gym these days, so <laughs> doesn't matter what I take, what I carry. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can definitely access it from your shoulder, which is one of the things that I just love about this bag. And, oh, it does have a D-ring in it, too. 
um, which is another thing. And then I showed you, it does have the brown canvas, like what you see in the speedy bags. And so, yeah. And so one thing that you just want to note, you know, like whenever you're trying to purchase one of these bags pre-loved, because they don't, you know, they're discontinued. Um, I always make sure that the the integrity of the corners is still pretty good because that's that's a very common area of wear. Um, also, you know, these the chaps and the, the straps too. Because this bag is so large, you are tempted to load it up with a bunch of stuff, which is going to obviously put more stress on the straps if they are weak, if they are on the weak side. Because, you know, again, it is considered a vintage bag. And so, you know, the straps, you just got to really pay close attention to the straps and you know you know wrinkling and all that kind of stuff is common but i'm talking about like see how the the tabs are nice and strong they're not um sometimes on these bags you can just tell from looking at them that they're just weak and they're kind of worn out but these are still nice and strong and that's what you want and honestly even if they did break i mean that is something that is such an easy repair whether you did it um through louis vuitton or there's a specialty shop that i was just referring to one of my clients um, I know they do, you know, they specialize in repairs for Louis Vuitton, might save you some money there. But anyway, this is an easy bag to get repaired. And anyways, it's also a classic bag. I mean, look at it. This is really such a nice bag. So anyway, again, this is the Cabos Alto. It is the largest of the Cabos series. And again, I have um, videos of the other two on my channel. So I hope this was helpful and I'll be talking to you all real soon. Okay, bye.